At the National Agricultural Institute in Queretaro, Turu Guire and Jose Uribe have been experimenting with a very special honeybee. First, they knock the bees out with CO2. Then they place them under a petri dish. And finally, their arch enemy is introduced, a blood-sucking mite called Varroa destructor. This little arachnid transmits diseases that can cripple a whole colony. It is the single most important cause of honeybee population decline. Within seconds, the Varroa mite crawls onto its victim in search of a place where it can suck its blood. Most honeybees simply ignore these deadly parasites, but not these bees. They shake them off and even more, they try to bite the mites to death. Behavior that could mean a breakthrough against the greatest threat to honeybees. But Turul and Jose have to find out whether the Varroa fighting bees are aggressive only to parasites or in general. It takes normal European honeybees about a minute to respond to an intruder and alarm the whole colony. These bees launch a full attack within seconds. Within one minute, five to 600 bees sting the small flag that Turul and Jose use as a standardized target. These bees don't differentiate between Varroa mites or human intruders. They protect their colony against both. They are Africanized bees, also known as killer bees, a name that bespeaks their terrible reputation. In the 1990s, a few cases of deadly swarming behavior set off alarms. However, fears of a full-on deadly invasion never materialized. Africanized bees are not a distinct species. They're a hybrid of African and European bees with some different characteristics. And not all Africanized bees are the same. Some colonies are less aggressive than others. It's those colonies that Turul and Jose want to use for breeding. Their goal? Breed an Africanized bee that is gentle but still resistant to the Varroa mite. Okay. 